Yo, what is going on, you guys? Bowling Games 03 checking in, and we picked up Reggie Nelson. Man, I'm excited about this new pickup. I had to let go of Haha ha Clinton Dix, and I asked, I went on my head, and I started like a forum chat, whatever. I asked a couple people, you know, what are some good ball hawking safeties, and one of them recommended Reggie Nelson. I looked at his stats. And man, they were nice. That speed and jumping. That jumping, 95 jump. Man, I'm pumped to play with Reggie Nelson. So it's our first game. We're going to go ahead and dive right into this game. He is on defense first. I give it to Vincent Jackson. And man, these stiff arms are too deadly. I don't know about you guys, but I've been having fun with these stiff arms. It's kind of been like the new truck stick, in my opinion, because, you know, they did kind of tone, not kind of, really tone down the truck stick. So you don't truck as much as you used to be able to. So, you know, I found a new weapon, and that's a stiff arm. So we give it off to 70 overall, Marshawn Lynch. I forgot to take him out of the lineup, unfortunately. But right here, once again, this is my favorite play. One of my favorite plays. PA crosses is really nice. It has a lot of slants going in one direction and, you know, overloads the zones. Someone's going to get open. Usually it is Vincent Jackson. But I will take this touchdown right here. So moving right along, he's going to try and get a crack at offense. We're looking at him for the first time in the second quarter we are in. He dumps it off, but Adrian Wilson pushes him out of bounds. Moving on, there you go. My user is so bad right now. It is not how it was last year. I'm getting so adjusted to this, you know. So I started to use that L2 kind of strafe thing. L2 or whatever, L trigger, I guess, if you're on the Xbox One or 360. I think it's L trigger. But yeah, it does really help. But I'm still trying to get adjusted to that. At first, I was refusing to use that L2 because, you know, that should have been my pick. But unfortunately, my own teammate did not let me have that. But, yeah, usering is so much more harder. If you guys are on the current gen or whatever, last gen, trust me, it is so much more harder to get users than it was in next gen. So be on the lookout for those of you guys that will be coming shortly or, yeah. But once again, it's 7-0. We, we did pick him off. He went for on 4th and 25 for some reason. So we give it to Vincent Jackson. We're on the 33-yard line. We drop back, and we throw a pick. I thought Macklin would have been open on the inside of that streak, but I was wrong. His corner did a nice job, Sean Smith, of jumping that ball. And wow, if you can get started in the second half, man, Le'Veon Bell. He just broke four tackles and took it to the house. And he's pumped. The game is tied 7-7. We give it off to Frank Gore, and he gets popped. He takes a lick. So we do a little play action. We give it off to Kendall Wright, a nice speedster on our team. And one more person, Vincent Jackson right here. I do really like Jeremy Macklin. I'm not sure how he got into my lineup, but he's been doing great. I don't know if he caught any um, passes yet, but he is really nice. So Kendall Wright once again, and he gets wrapped up at the 25-yard line. Frank Gore up the middle, and he does get tackled. So it's second and two, and we get Martellus Bennett. Come on, Martellus Bennett. Thank God Darius Butler picked that up. Otherwise, we would have been in a bad situation. PA crosses. We did not get it that time, but Martellus Bennett, I was praying that he did not fumble, but he made the extra effort to get the touchdown, so we'll try to forget about that fumble. So it is once again his turn. Let's see if we can stop him again like we did on his last drive. Well, last to last drive. He runs a little play action right here, and we do get the pressure just in time, and he decides to run it on a third and nine. Fourth and nine, he's going for it since he went on for fourth and 25. And once again, that was my zone. Man, it is so frustrating. You don't know how frustrating it is, especially when you know you can get that interception, but you did not do enough. And right there, that was a nice pass, I'm not going to lie. And that was a really nice call. I was not expecting the screen at all. And there you go. He got a touchdown. So it's 14-14. And... That was actually a good pass, but the problem was I was trying to pass it to Frank Gore. I think I thought he was R1, so I passed it to R1 and ended up being Martellus Bennett. But that doesn't matter because we do eventually pick up the first down. So first and 10, Kendall Wright, reception up the middle, 47. We're on his 47-yard line, and we almost threw a pick, but we give it off to Jeremy Macklin. He breaks a tackle, and he's off to the races. 
how did that happen? That was crazy. He literally went right up the middle and like he just, my opponent decided to dive all of his players. So right there, I was just wasting some time and we easily score in for the touchdown 21 to 14. He has one second. He's obviously not going to do anything. So we do come away with this victory. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I'm out.